everyone. Um, I wanted to show you a fun project that you can do um, called Finish a Picture. So what you'll need is a pencil, a paper, like a picture from a magazine or um, a photo or something that's kind of big with a subject in the middle um, that you can cut in half. Something that's symmetrical. See how his face is the same on both sides? That always helps. Um, and some scissors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my photo and I'm gonna fold it in half so that, so that I divide this picture in half. Like this, and I'm kinda gonna look at it. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the picture in half. So I'm gonna cut straight up the middle. Yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some, you can either glue it or tape it. I'm gonna use tape just in case I mess up and wanna move it. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on there at the top to finish my picture. So there's that. Okay, so you can use this as a reference to finish it, but I like to add an interesting background that's a little bit different. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna look at his nose, and since it's the same on both sides, I'm just gonna repeat what's on this side on this side. So I'm going to draw this little this little nostril here on, his, on the other side of his nose. So there's the other side of his nose, like that. And he's got his furry little mouth that comes down and up. He kind of looks like he's smiling. This dog is so cute. I'm gonna shade that and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make the other side of his little tongue and then darken around it because it's very dark right here. Okay, um, then you can see there's a little bit of fuzz, it's a little bit of dark right there where his chin is. And then I'm going to come over here and make the other side of his nose. And I can see that his nose, this little muzzle part of his mouth comes up and around like this. Um, and then we're gonna put the eye here. So the eye would be on the other side of that. And I'm looking at this side, trying to match it a little bit. So there's this little eye and there's a little shiny. I'm gonna darken around the shiny, it's very small. Okay, and then, and then he almost has like a little white eyebrow He's a little white and then a little, it's kind of white right here. Okay, and then this is where he's kind of like this tannish brown on top. Okay, so then I, his, his head is like a circle. He's like a little puffy circle dog. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch in a circle and he's got this little fuzzy ear. Okay, and then for his shirt, He's got a little collar, so I'll do that, sketch that in. I just love how this dog is wearing a shirt. Have you guys ever dressed up your pets before? And his little round paw, where you can barely see his toes because he's so fluffy. Okay, now, after I draw the dog, I'm gonna come up with a creative background. So for the background, you can see here, he's just kind of in, in front of a curtain. Um, well, I'm going to change that on this side. So instead of being in front of a curtain, on this side, he's gonna be um, at the beach. So I'm gonna change it here. I'm gonna draw a line here, here. This is gonna be the water. He's standing like, 
kind of on the edge of the water. Maybe his back feet are in the water and they're getting kind of wet. Okay, so then when I color it, I'm going to, actually, I'm also gonna add in the foreground a palm tree. So here it's gonna go behind him. So just, just get creative with your background. It's gonna run off the edge a little bit. So there's my little palm tree and he's at the beach. So I've created a creative background. So then you wanna find, just get your crayons and find colors that are the closest to the animal. So I think this one is pretty close. I might add a little bit of brown really lightly. So I'm gonna do some brown really lightly around his head. And then I'll do this on top to mix try to get that color. It's, it actually has a little bit of orange in it too. So you wanna to try to match those colors so that the drawing just continues on the other side. Now to blend them, I'm gonna use white. And this will just blend those colors together. There you go. Now I'm using oil pastels, but you can use crayons for this or markers, whatever you have at home. And I like to use oil pastels because you can make value, you can make it get darker or lighter, and you can blend. So I'm gonna do this little furry part, this, color, this kind of tan color, I think matches a little bit. So I'm gonna put some tan right there. And I'm gonna actually color his face with this tan and his little foot. And then I'll go back with white on top of it just to lighten it up a little bit so that we can match these colors as best we can. Okay, so there's my little boo dog. And I'm also gonna do his tongue. So let's do his little foot. Okay, and then I can try to match those green colors here for his little sweater. So you can see that there's light green and darker green. So I might go over the shadows with this dark green here, where the little collar is. Okay, and then I'll go back and blend them together with the white. I love how the white is good at making these colors blend together. There we go.